Hello there. We all love a good optical illusion, don't we? But why do they work? In this video we'll be looking at three optical illusions and explaining why our brains get fooled in the way that they do. Firstly, here we can see a background which goes from light grey to dark grey as we move from left to right across the screen. And in front of that there's a bar that goes from dark grey to light grey as we move from left to right. So watch what happens if I remove the background, and I promise I won't alter the model in any way, and since this is a computer model I could, but I won't. We can now see quite clearly that the bar in front is all one shade of grey. But why should that be the case? Well let's put the background back and I'll explain. Firstly, we don't see with our eyes, we see with our brain. And our brains have evolved to give us a picture of the world that makes sense, and more importantly, helps us to survive. This illusion is all about how well illuminated our brains perceive something to be. On the right hand side, the background is dark, and so our brains think that that area is dimly lit. Our brains then make a compensation. An object under dimly lit conditions would actually be brighter than it appears. And so our brains do a bit of a correction for this, and so the bar looks brighter on that side. On the opposite side, the opposite happens. Our brains perceive that part to be brightly lit, and so the bar looks darker against our light background. A similar effect can be seen if I have a grey block of a single colour moving from side to side. On the dark side, the block appears to be lighter in shade, and on the other side, it appears to be darker. OK, on to the next illusion. Here's an optical illusion that many people have seen already. Here we have a three-dimensional face, and it appears to rotate in one direction most of the way around, and then change its direction of rotation so that it turns back the other way. We always see the face as sticking out towards us. If however we change the angle that we're viewing the face from, and to do that we really need to look from the top, we can see that it is in fact a hollow mask rotating in just one direction. But why when viewed from the front do we always see the face as pointing out towards us? This illusion relies on how our brains perceive faces. Our brains are incredibly good at seeing faces. We see faces everywhere. Our brains also know that the faces always point outwards. And so we'll always try to see a face as pointing out towards us. Our brains perceive that it is the hollow mask rotating backwards and forwards in opposite directions so that the face always points outwards. And now on to our final illusion for today. And this one is more of a puzzle than an illusion. Look at the sentence on the screen and count the number of F's. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can pause the video if you need to. OK, are we done? How many F's were there? Most people count three. But in fact, there are actually six. Let's bring the sentence back and count them. Most people have no problem in finding these three F's, but there are another three here. So why do people only see three F's in this sentence rather than six? Well, this is to do with how we perceive words. Reading is actually an incredibly complex skill. We take random shapes, those are the letters, and form them into bigger shapes, those are the words, and those words have a meaning. And then finally, we form those words into sentences, which when we put it all together, have an overall meaning and a context. Our brains process long and short words slightly differently, and will, for the sake of speed, take short words as a single object rather than the product of two letters. So even though the F is there in the word of, our brains don't perceive it as a separate object to the O and so we miss it out. In essence, what we're doing is we're skipping over the word without looking at it properly. Of course, once you know this trick, you won't be fooled by it again, unless you forget. Okay, so that's it for this video, and until next time, thank you very much for watching.